Hello everybody, it's me, I'm back. Okay, we're back at it again with Beam NG Drive, and let's get right into it. Free ROM. Today, I feel like doing Grid. Let that load. Okay. And... Is it done? Strange. Oh, there we go. Okay, it just loaded in, and today I'm gonna use the use a carbon used yet. Here we go. Bishu 200 BX. Let's go with the demon. With the demon. Let's drive it around a bit, and then we'll do some fun stuff. Oh no. Ah, there we go, okay. There we go. So I believe this one has a very heavily tuned car. I don't know what for. Maybe <laughs> street racing, but it could also be for drifting. Seems like it's a good drift. Ah, uh, no. Nah. Maybe street racing. I see it's got like slick tires. Okay. Well, that's enough of that. Let's get up the rollover tester. Now this is used in real life to test a car's, to test the rollover on a car, I guess. The rollover sled, that's what it's called. But in Beam and G-Drive, we use it for fun. <sighs> this may be a sign to update the game. Oh no, oh, that's what I did. I did it again. Okay. I have to spawn a new one. I don't want to change the camera. We're using the demon, I'm pretty sure. Here we are. Demon. No. What I didn't what I did wrong was I double tapped it. What I have to do is press spawn new probably a frequent mistake I'll be making and I don't know why I did that so go do this fix the car make sure it's in line with the uh, rollover sled and we'll roll it over okay you know what we'll just look like that This may cause, yeah, that was... Okay, so this car, I put it on bad, it destroyed the tire, and... Probably not what I was hoping for. I mean, but... We could keep going. So, let's see. I think it's hard. This time I'll try to do it better. up here. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I'll right. put it in the park. And we'll get driver view from this one. So I believe there is a roll cage in this. And oh, that's it. Oh wow, that's not bad. Some damage. Oh, oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. Can I still drive? 
No. Yes. Oh wait, no. Oh no, I have the parking brake. Okay, so I, mean, I guess it's driving. I don't know why it doesn't show it on the damage marker, but like that, that's not okay. Uh, so if this would happen in real life, obviously you'd probably need a tow truck. I mean, what am I saying? You would need a tow truck. <laughs> okay, moving on. Let's try a different car. Let's see. I believe we haven't used the ETKI series yet. Here, I think this one looks the best. Maybe? No, 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 we'll use this one. A 2400 Ti TT Sport Evolution Manual. Are these the same or different? I can't tell. Leave. Oh, no, this is the Ti X. This is the Ti. I'll use this one. I think this one's lower to the ground. Or maybe it's the same height just with the. Uh, the skirts and stuff, the, like the cars seem lower, but it's like, meaning it might get damaged on the way up here. And we are stuck. That's why I don't like to use the uh, cars with all the stuff on it, because it's hard to drive up these. But like trucks and stuff without the bumpers, the little splitters and stuff, skirts, they all get up here no problem. Without doing something like that. If you can see, yeah. The exhaust is damaged. That's a little crooked. Uh let's get this started. We'll get the outside view this time. That's some nice rollover. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that did a lot of body damage instead of like heart damage. But I'm pretty sure this does not like. This seems like it'd be fatal, but it. I don't know. Let's let's move on. Get one more. Oh no, the camera's outside of the car. Final view of the ends. I think there's a roll cage. Maybe I should try a car without the roll cage next time. Which is now. Okay. So, from, so now I'm gonna pick a car without a roll cage. Actually, let me do this one. Pick one of these. No roll cage. I'll go with this one. And I did the wrong thing again. No, I could have just done the place current, but we could always just remove this one to increase the speed of the game. Remove current. Now this requires some work in effort. I've tried to fake seeming like it was hard because that was uh, not that hard to do, but I made it hard by just spamming keyboard. <laughs> okay, lining it up and let's drive it up. There it is. And you don't want to go too fast, so you'll fly over the whole thing. Here we go, another outside view. This one should take a little more damage, but I think this is also heavier. This car. Okay, so yeah, this car did take a lot more body damage because of the absence of a roll cage. I think the engine's still on. Yeah. Let's actually, uh, pop the hood.
That was a lot of work. And lift that up. Okay, now there is no air filter, so it should overheat. No, 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 that's not what it is. It's gonna be all dirty inside. The coolant is at the job. The coolant has the job of keeping the car from overheating. Speaking of which, can I take out the coolant? I think this might be it, or is this... No, that's the fender. Maybe it's on the engine, meaning I can't get it off on its own without destroying the engine. What else I could do is just, well, simple parts menu and search coolant. Oh no, I think the coolant... Uh, yeah, there's nothing here. Aww. I wanted to do some fun stuff with that. Okay, uh... Let's see what it does allow me to do. This seems like a lot of work. You know what? If we're gonna strip the car, might as well use one I already did that too. So, before I started streaming, I had this Bishu Covet that I took everything not needed off of. It's called the Stripped Covet. That's what I call it. Any part that wasn't needed was taken off. Okay, so... Uh, let's respawn it, and let's get driving. So, due to its lightness, actually, let me, maybe a time to show you a new thing we can use, or I can use, it's called the weight pad, it basically weighs the car, we'll do a side by side, a real, co uh, not a real Covet, a uh, normal Covet and a stripped Covet, see which one weighs less, or don't see the difference in weight, so there's the triple pad, I only need two, but we're gonna get the triple one, so we can do two at a time. We can do three, but let's just do the two. If I drive it on without damaging it, really. Now we're gonna press this, 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 just to make sure everything's good. Then we're gonna spawn in a. Uh, I forgot I had a free cam, I think it may have been one of the buttons top, but I'm not sure. Oh wait, wrong way. What? No. Sorry, Luca, not now. Sorry, guys. Gonna get the... this one. Sorry about that. Distractions. Now that I realize it, the car is in the weight plate. <sighs> Why? Why didn't I just leave it? Why did I have to do that? Well, let's see. We'll just end the episode here by weighing the two cars hopefully it shouldn't be too bad if the wheels are in the car but we're just gonna ah. no 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 get back on their car okay so we're gonna see the weight of each okay so 770 kilograms compared to the other one, which is 956. So we, so I took pretty much about 226 kilograms off. Still, the car's probably faster if you raced them. And that's gonna end the episode. And I'll see everyone next time. See ya.